Hello everyone, we are Ian and Anthony from Smosh, and we will be your Condé Nast Traveler travel agents for today. We're gonna be reading some one-star reviews of Los Angeles locations, and we're gonna let you know what we think of these spots. We've lived here for about a decade, so I think we know the lay of the land to speak to what Los Angeles can bring. Okay, so this first place is the Hollywood Burbank Airport, which is nowhere near Hollywood. Yeah, where did they get that name? Well, it used to be called Bob Hope Airport. Yeah, yeah. But I think we're at the point where everyone's like, who the fuck is Bob Hope? All right, let's get to these one-star reviews. Carson left a one-star review that says, the music is too loud and too pop. Why is that the vibe an airport wants? Makes me almost want to go to LAX. Almost. I'm now in SLC where the music is low and relaxing, much more pleasant airport experience. I'm not usually paying attention to the ambiance. No, I think they're right though. I feel yeah. like when I close my eyes and think about being there, I just hear some pop music just blasting. And yeah. It, it is annoying. Kelly Clarkson. Lie. Yeah. Uh, loud music, I'll take that any day over having to wait like an hour in a security checkpoint. But if you have to choose between LAX and Burbank and you're able to get to Burbank, it's way better. Yeah. This person is from our hometown of Sacramento. Zaneda said, this old garbage ass airport. The only thing nice about this airport is their hand soap in the bathrooms. It smells good. Okay, fair. I mean, I will say that whenever I use a, a bathroom and I use their soap and it just smells like the shit that they give you at like the, the doctor's office. I don't it's know, pink, it's like, pink. it's always pink and it yeah. smells like ass. It's so yeah. bad. I will say that the bathroom soap here at Condé Nast is brown and I've never seen that before. I respect it. What's up with that? Yeah. Condé Nast, you're weird. I will say uh, they are right on Burbank Airport being old. They still are one of those airports that you board from the tarmac, which like if, you, if you're if you in the know, they board from the front and the rear. The trick is you immediately shoot to the, to the rear boarding, go up the ramp and then immediately start walking and you can usually get a pretty good seat. That's That's the move. So overall, even with all of the downsides, yeah. I'd give this place a five stars. Yeah, don't tell anybody else about it though. It's still an LA secret, so. Just between yeah. you and us. But Burbank Airport rocks. Griffith, Griffith Park. Park. It's bigger than Central Park. It's gigantic. I think it's a great place to, to hang out, get some time away. You could go on hikes there, you could chill in the park. And the observatory, of, of course. course. And you could go up there, you could see the Hollywood sign, so I guess yeah. it's close enough to Hollywood. Bobby, just one year ago, was not so happy with this place because saw a snake. You're out in nature, there's going to be snakes. I gotta say, I'm disappointed by this review, Bobby. I wanna know what kind of snake. Yeah, why I need, need details. I need to know how, why it was so scary. Well, he might have been disappointed by the by the snake that he saw. It might have just been like a garter snake. See, that's the thing. You don't you know? know. Was he disappointed that he saw the snake or was he disappointed about the snake's presence in terms of size and... and yeah, girth. Girth. Yeah. What's the best way to handle a snake when you see a snake in Griffith Park? Get a really good photo of it. I'd suggest getting as close as possible yeah. to it. And make sure it, you're in the photo oh, yeah, yeah. with Actually, just like, the snake. Yeah, do a selfie yeah. with it. That's a one star advice, I would say. There are a lot of rattlesnakes in California though, so watch out. I think Griffith Park is a jewel of Los Angeles. I'd give it five stars, and it's really nice when you when you climb up to the top. When you eventually get up there, yeah. especially if you're out there at sunset, it is beautiful. Ooh. More than 180 degree view. It's dope. Of all of LA. Five stars. Five stars. While we think it's a five star place, Hogan gave it one star, and they said, could not find Shrek anywhere. Why was Shrek assumed to be there? I don't know. I was like, I was trying to think like, did they do like a Shrek meetup? They just didn't like make it. I think it might just be, uh, a common assumption that anywhere that there is uh, land, that Shrek will be there. Yeah, I don't it's know. It's very hilly, so it's hard to get yeah, swampy. So. I feel like if we were to ask Kogan what the hell they were thinking, they might say, oh, somebody once told me. Yeah, well, oh, God. I walked right into that. Nice. Thank you. Disneyland Park. Okay. The Disneyland, which actually is not in LA, it's in Anaheim. People well, think, oh, I'm coming to LA. LA area, it's in the LA sure. area. Sure. Shelby, give it a one star because she said, pooped on by a bird, standing in line for Peter Pan. Please remove the wires immediately above the ride's line. Guests beware. It is pretty easy to reroute uh, electricity 
Yeah, uh, I'm sure those wires are there for no reason. Yeah, just reroute them. Pretty simple job. Don't want any more bird poop on. You know how like the princesses are all walking around and you can like take pictures of the princesses? Mm -hmm. Maybe this was the bird from Little Mermaid. Yeah, they were playing into the story. Yeah, this is part of the experience, Shelby. Yeah, getting shit on, it's actually something that Disneyland offers. Yeah, who doesn't want to get pooped on by Scuttle? You're like, oh, I, I got, got a little Scuttle on me. So for Disneyland, I'm not really the biggest fan. I don't like large crowds. I don't like waiting in lines. I would give it a one because it sucks there most of the time, <laughs> but I'll give it a two because once yeah. a year, I'll be like, ah, Disneyland day kind of sounds nice. Especially if you go at night in the summer, oh. perfect temperature in the air while it's a little bit darker, less people there. I give it three stars. You know, I'll give some it of, three as well. Some of the food, sometimes the vibes are good. I like all the, the little, secrets that they've hidden in the park. You know, the more we talk about it, I think I want to give it a four. I'm not going to yeah. give it a four. I'm not going up that high. I'll give it a that, four. That place, like, look, sometimes it's a vibe, sometimes that place sucks. You know what, you convinced me. I will give it a five. Okay, all right, fine, fine, fine. All right, so this next one, for those that don't know, Erewhon is like Whole Foods, but turned up to 11. There is a smoothie that is named a Haley Bieber. I think it's $20. Yeah, it is pure luxury. If you're shopping there on the reg, I want to know what you do for a living. If you're yeah, you, you, you got to be like a trust fund kid. Yeah, or or like you've bankrupted some small nation. Yeah. Eve Lee said parking is bad, and they want a hundred and thirty-five dollars for a reusable grocery bag. LMFA. Is that legit? It's a hundred and thirty-five dollars for a reusable grocery bag. Is it? What is it made is from? Is it made of leather? It's just a canvas tote. It's, it's just canvas. canvas? What? We gotta okay. see a picture. And I, and I bet this thing's gonna be like one color too. Wow. What? But no. This, but this is like, this is bad. And it's 138 now. Inflation. I'm trying to like find a way to justify this, but I don't think I mean, I it looks good quality, but yeah. it is just markup for the brand. It feels equivalent of like buying a Gucci bag or something. Well, so I've heard that like, that Erewhon's gotten to the place of like branding that people go on dates to Erewhon. Like if you're walking around with an Erewhon bag, yeah. you're telling people, I have a lot of disposable income. Ooh, that person's got a lot of money they want to throw away. Yeah. I, want, I want some money thrown at me. Wow. Um, okay. Um, well, that's I good can't, to know. I cannot defend that. Taking money out of the equation nice. is very nice. But if money is part of the equation, I'd say it's probably three stars. Yeah. Am I gonna go there every day? No. It's like this or Disneyland, basically. Yeah. And I bet you soon there will be people that travel from the Midwest just to go to the Erewhon as well. They had to try the Haley Bieber smoothie. Mm -hmm. Cineholic Gourmet Cinnamon Rolls. Mm -hmm. This place was my pandemic dream. Mm -hmm. So good. Ashley says, the icing has a weird aftertaste. I tried three and none were good. The person working the front counter was also weird about me tasting the icing and then asking for water. They think it was like a wine tasting where they're like, taste a little icing. Like, yeah, like, okay, now I'm gonna try this one. Yeah. This is also a pandemic spot for me. They just have like insane cinnamon rolls. It's so good though. Yeah. Can we give them cinnamon rolls? We got some? Oh my oh, God. Oh yes, this was my order. And this is the one that I would always get too. You what? How did they know? Yeah, Cause it would be the, it'd be the, the cookie dough. I'm Yo, gonna have, I'm, I'm digging gonna, in. Yeah, I'm gonna have to have some of this. <laughs> I'm just gonna have a little bite. Mm. This frosting I'll is amazing. Frosting. What the yeah, fuck? Yeah, I'm gonna try the frosting. Yeah, I don't know what that guy's on mm. about. For me, hits the spot. Yeah, the frosting's where it's at. Mm. Damn, mm. what a lovely surprise. Damn, I'll give this a perfect five stars, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. Don't even have to question that. But you know where a good place to spend your pandemic was? Mm. At the Huntington Library and Gardens. I love this place. This was my pandemic retreat. You're not supposed to, but I brought like a little blanket. And I'll sit down in it. Just, just chill. A bit. This place was just so nice to just walk around in. It felt like if Disneyland was just nature with yeah. like plants maintained from all over the world. And there's a cactus area, which I think is highly underrated. They have trees that look ancient that must have been growing there for hundreds of years. I love it there. Let's see what negative think, things people have to say. I think Huntington say. Library also has a corpse flower. Oh shoot, yeah, those things one. only bloom once every what, like 12 years or something, something crazy? Something like that. I think it just bloomed. Yeah. So come back in 12 years. John says, unable to obtain membership tickets despite many years of membership. Then when you buy them, the place is like a militarized 
sunrise zone. Front gate, yes. I have a reservation. Bag check table, no. I don't have any bags. Temperature check table, yes. Heaven forbid someone gets in for free by accident and looks at some plants, the horror. It's like if you go to any kind of like stadium, they're gonna check your bag. They're gonna check your ticket. It's pretty normal. Yeah, and considering I call this the Disneyland for plants, yeah. Disneyland would do the same. What are they looking for in your bag, I'm wondering? Probably blankets, like the ones you smuggled in. I, did I break the law? Yes. Was it okay? Yes. Ziyu says, if you come in a hot day, prepare to die there. <laughs> Too uncomfortable so you can't enjoy anything for the $30 per person ticket. If you come, come in a cool day. Wait, couldn't the same exact review be left for anything, anywhere that's anywhere, outside? Anywhere, <laughs> anywhere, anywhere. <laughs> Like just stay inside when it's hot. I guess that's what this person's saying. But that's why you wear a hat. Yeah. Or you bring an umbrella or just like harden up. Yeah. Just harden up. I'd give Huntington Gardens a perfect five stars. I think it's great. It's a little expensive and that kind of sucks, but for what you get, mm. I think it's good. I'd give it four stars because you might die there from the mm. heat. Well, thank you so much for watching. We hope you had as much fun as we did. Let us know if you come to LA. We'll have you at our place. Um, we'll show you around. Actually, yeah. well, I'm just gonna take that back. No, people will uh, take you yeah, up on yeah, that. Right. Uh, don't take the, the 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 tour bus, the tour van. No, do the star tours. You like it? No, I've never done it. I'm, I'm never <laughs> you gonna do it. Just want them to do no, it. No, but yeah, do the star tours. Let us know if it was a complete waste of your time. No, you're right. I've never done it scam. either. So please do it and uh, give your review in the comments below. Yeah, and have a wonderful time visiting LA.